right guys welcome back to the channel well today is oil change day for the steak um, I'm going to be going to a classic car show on Sunday so I thought well it's done about 3,000 miles now time to change the oil every 3,000 on this okay and I'll show you what oil I'm using okay I'm using 2050 the filters in there it's a relatively simple job this, so let's get on with it. Right, first job. It's a square on there. Okay, on that type. Right, so I'll tighten my things up too tight. So I can before you start screwing it out, wouldn't you, Mr. Adjustable spanner on that. Four pull step. That's what we gotta do, messing about on the floor. Little dog. There we go. Right, let's see if I can get this out without getting covered in oil. Black. That was ready for a change. Um, I do change this twice a year as well. Well, do a change. When you do change the oil, make sure it's quite warm as well. And then you'll get it all out. Right, guys, that's the, uh, the sump plug. I don't know whether that's an original one. Um, put down in the comments. Tell me, because I don't really, really know that much about the Triumph Stag, really. It's a relatively new car to me. But yeah, there's your sun plug. As you can see, I've got it jacked up on this side. So I want, the, with this being on a slight gradient, um, I want the oil to flow that way, because this is the side, the... Uh, oil comes out of. So yeah, let's have a quick from one drill. See you got the jack there like that. Do you know this car's killer cool? Right guys, that's where the oil filter is in that cup. That'll be the next job. We just need to undo this now. Just gonna make sure I get every last drop out of there. Might put a bit of brake cleaner in there as well and let it wash out. There we go. Let's move that over so it doesn't drop in the oil. Screw this out nice and slow. Probably use my 
fingers now. I'll try and make a zero mess. We just give that a little shake about and then just let the excess oil dribble out. Because <coughs> obviously that cup's full of oil, so that's where the filter goes. Looks very black. Definitely due an oil change. Get that cup will be full of oil. <sighs> Trying to do two jobs at once here. Eh? There we go. Stand it upright. And we'll just drop that in there, just like that. Always make sure you've got carbon on the floor. It's looking all right. As you can see, that's the filter in there. clean all that out so it's scrupulously clean this is what I like to do boys and girls plenty of WD-40 in there lovely that a good clean out There's a new filter, there's a new seal that'll go on the top. Make sure you see that in there properly. It is spring loaded, as you can see. Right, let's see where this seal goes then. It looks like a ridge seal. It's kind of flat. It's not rounded. Uh, the new seal goes on there, as you can see. You just need a little pick to pick that out. Good job, Gotti. 
here. seal come on out there we go so these are really handy these little picks let's see what i'm doing can you see right guys i've just pulled this one out i might put this old seal back in because this new one is thinner yeah I think I'll put this one back in. Oh my God. Just give that a good squirt, get all that cleaned out. Just like that. Right guys, I'm gonna put this sump pump back in. Sure you go backwards and forwards on it so it just goes in there nice and easy just like that right what i'm gonna do is put the old seal back in because it's better than the new one they've given me so we're gonna put this one back in Right guys, I put the old seal back in because it's a better one that's been supplied with a new filter. Um, there's no cuts in it or tears or anything like that, so that should just be okay. Right, let's go and get the filter and put a little bit of oil in it and crack on. Right guys, this is what I like to do. Put the fresh oil in the filter. Not too much, but half full. That should do it. Don't fill it right to the top because when you're screwing it in, it'll go all over the place. Right, guys, when you put in this filter back on, just make sure. It's in there, just give it a spin like that while you tighten it up. Because this is now getting compressed now because there is a spring in here. And also guys, I wouldn't over tighten this. Because if you do, you'll probably split that seal. I would just, that will do. See, I do more of my, because I'm old school. I do a lot by feel. I know when it's too much or it's not enough, if you know what I mean. You just get a feel for these things. Um, but I'm gonna keep it at that. If it weeps a little bit, I might give it a little nip more, but I don't wanna over tighten it. Less is better than more. It's like everything in life. Right. Right, let's see if I can do this with one arm while filming. Nearly. So I'm using one hand here and one hand filming. Look at that nice golden thick syrup oil. too bad there on one hand what do you think guys put it down in the comments I'm just a professional right, 
Uh, drink up little car, nice fresh oil. Can't believe how quick time goes by. Right guys, that's all the uh, the oil done on the car, new filter. Now I've got a Sunbeam Alpine to service. I'm doing the front brake, so might as well make a little video on that as well.